What's up, everybody? We're back with another video. Today, I want to talk to y'all about something, man. <laughs> so, the thing I want to talk about today is the um, your off-ball movement on offense, especially for the um, centers and power forwards and whatnot. So, I remember in a previous video, I remember saying something along the lines of, it is not your only job to set screens and uh, get rebounds and things of that sort, man. But I just wanted to talk about pick and roll for a second. So um, you got people on your team like Fire King, Maggie, all those people with drift shots and so on and so forth, man. Those shooting guards with drift shots. You should definitely be setting them a screen every single time they get their hands on the ball. Now, you don't have to be a center or a power forward for you to do this. You're a shooting guard, small forward, point guard. You should also be doing this as well because if you're just running around like a chicken with his head cut off, bro, and calling for the ball while you have someone on you. Now, that's another problem that I'm probably gonna talk about in a separate video. As a matter of fact, we're just gonna stuff that into this one, man. So calling for the ball when you have someone on you doesn't make very much sense to me, man, <laughs> simply because of the fact that why am I passing you the ball if you are also contested? Now, if you're using someone like a Marcus, someone like a David, you know, mid-range people who use flash shots and stuff like that, then me passing you the ball while you're contested makes a whole lot of sense. But if you're playing someone <laughs> that isn't very good in ISO, then me passing you the ball while you have someone contesting you is just not a good idea. Set some screens, roll off once you screen someone off, I will pass you the ball. But uh, <laughs> anyway, back to what we were originally talking about. So um, centers and power forwards, you need to be setting screens for those drift three-point users, man, because they are not ISO-based shooting guards. For example, you got a Mary on your team. She's trying her best to lose her defender, but his defense is strong, bro, <laughs> and she cannot shake him. You should step out there. You should do something about that and set a screen. Now, if you end up screening off their defender and um, the big that is guarding you decides to stay out there and stick around and guard that shooting guard, you should roll into the rim. And um, the person that you screen for should definitely pass you the ball if the key is wide open at that point. Now, <laughs> this next part is extremely important, man. If someone passes you the ball after you screen off their defender and the big stays out there and continues to guard them, there is no reason that you should be passing the ball <laughs> to someone else that is not open, bro. You should just go ahead, take that free and easy two points. Because if you don't take those free points, you're gonna pass it to someone who's contested and you will waste an entire play. Um, that's basically it, man. So we got a video coming up. We're gonna do Uncle Kevin versus Pinky, trying to see who is actually better. That's it, man, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.